Uh, hey everyone, and welcome back to another podcast uh, of the Best Code community from Serbia. In this episode, we're having as a guest one of our long-term clients, John from Smart Suite, and uh, kind of we're going to be talking about how their basically platform was using Webflow to launch their marketing website and all of the benefits they had from that side. So, John, can you introduce you and kind of Smart Suite as a company? Sure. My name is John Darbyshire. Uh, Smart Suite is a company that can help organizations manage any type of workflow in their business on a single platform. A workflow to us is any type of process, project, or task that you may be doing inside of your organization. Uh, we support about 30 different categories of templates that are kind of best in class processes or projects right out of the box that you can choose from, from sales, marketing, customer success, product development, um, you know, all the way to industry specific templates like construction and real estate and churches and such. So anything to do with work management on a single platform, uh, we allow you to do that. And our, the starting point for our product is $10 per user per month for our team edition, and then um, goes to our enterprise edition of $35 per user per month. Nice. So we're actually using kind of smart suite in our agency and it's been a game changer on our side. So it's always fun to work on a project you actually use in the end. So, Absolutely. yeah, I mean, coming to that, I know that you've run Arctic Technologies in 2010 and for anybody not familiar with the company, they've been a kind of a key platform in 2010 for government security and kind of all of those items and all of the companies in one to three, Fortune 500 were using them. So kind of comparing the website building process in 2010, and I mean, did you even have a website right, uh, right then? Kind of how hard it is to get a website comparing it to Webflow? Kind of what's the process there in the end? Yeah, so Archer Technology started in uh, 2001. So we're, we're, we're going back 20 years when we built our first website there. Very different from today's websites. It was very static. Um, each page had was just full of custom code. There were no use, reused components from page to page. Anytime we wanted to make a change, uh, it seems like it, it took a day or two days to make a simple change on just a, a page that we had. So the website itself was not very good. We didn't use it and we couldn't use it to really help sell our product like we do in today's market. It was more just for information after we had contacted somebody and they had some questions, they could come to the website and maybe find the information, but it didn't have any guided tours, no animation. Uh, you couldn't start a trial from there. Uh, just a very different world uh, at that point. Yeah, I gotta, was it really refreshing on your side uh, when you st started Smart Suite and you started to look for other CMS solution? Kind of, what were the features you were looking for, and kind of why did you end up choosing Webflow in the end? Yeah, that that was a uh, it was a good search. So we we looked at all the core players that were kind of in the space, and for some reason, I kind of kept coming back to Webflow. Uh, I just I, I liked the presence of their own website, which was important to me. That the company that we selected you know, needed to have the features and, and the look and feel that we were looking for on their own website. Uh, but I, I, I listed a few things here that I'll run through on kind of why Webflow for us that was there. The first one was we wanted to have lots of images. So when I say lots of images, I'm talking like a thousand, fifteen hundred images on the website. Uh, we want to be very interactive and we wanted people to be able to visualize and see our product in many different ways on the site. So performance and with the loading of those images were, were very key. So we spent a lot of time just understanding and talking to people about performance and how to optimize uh, websites and Webflow kept coming back up at the top of the list when we talked about kind of the optimization and just being really fast. Uh, we also wanted to be able to um, build the website and use templates on certain pages, but have a CMS in the background so that our marketing team could make constant updates. We thought it was important that we didn't build a static website that we update once a year, that we wanted to update the minute that we knew that we needed to change the, the text in a particular section based on customer feedback or what we're seeing in our testing. So our marketing team is able to go in kind of on a daily basis and make updates to the website in different areas. And that was important that it was easy for them to do that without needing to have the Webflow developer that we worked with making all of those content updates. Um, we needed a very responsive uh, design. You know, we wanted it to look just as good on mobile as it did on web. Uh, in the past, we'd had a lot of heartaches with making that work and uh, Webflow seemed to have that figured out better than just about anyone, uh, just from the ease of doing that. Um, 
and then you know we wanted template pages and the ability to reuse sections on you know we what we call controls we would build a particular control in one place but we may want to use that same control in five other places and not need to recode that each time so kind of all of those things together as we were just researching all the products webflow kept coming up to the top and to be honest we kind of liked that webflow was new built on a newer technology that they could host it for us they kind of made it easy for us to to make that selection yeah, I mean, now that you've listed all of those features, was there any kind of versus in the end? Like basically a versus is a custom coded solution, maybe on Nuxt or something like that, but I'm not sure. Uh, did you consider any of those platforms to have like Squarespace or anything like that? I, I feel like they don't have that much flexibility as you just described. They did. So you're, you're absolutely right. What happened at the end was the decision came down to either build our own custom website uh, in React or we go with Webflow. That was our decision. We found that nobody could support the vision that we had for what we wanted to have on the website. And we really wanted to select a product and we were really happy when we got to the end and we felt like Webflow could support what we needed so we didn't have to write everything custom. Yeah, uh, I mean, gonna, on that side, it will probably be coming back to 2010 and having a completely custom solution and you're building a website in 2020. So kind of, were you happy with the timeline of kind of how long did you actually take to develop the website kind of from start to finish, comparing it to kind of how long would it take if you went with a custom coded option? Yeah, the, the, the biggest issue that we had with doing a custom coded option was we wanted to be able to do really fast iterations so that when we knew if pages weren't working or weren't resonating with customers, we wanted to be able to change them on the fly. And we were really worried about Can you hear me now? Okay. Yeah, I, I hear everything. Okay. All right. Now it's working again. I was getting a lot of feedback there for a second. Um, yeah, I was just saying that um, we were really worried about, you know, the, the iterations and the updates that we would need to make if we went custom versus the uh, on the Webflow side. Yeah, yeah, which is completely right. I mean, kind of on our side, I mean, we launched the website and I, I guess for the past three months, we're constantly iterating, launching the new homepage, launching the new features, the redesigns and whatever. And all of those are done on the fly. Usually when the marketing team flags those the same day or the, the day after we have them live, which wouldn't be the case kind of with the usual custom coded option. Yeah, we, we do a lot of, of, of testing and we kind of, we like to watch our customers when they come in and use the site and where they're going. And then we like to actually talk with customers that have been to the site, signed up for a trial to understand this, you know, the information that was most important to them and why, why they made that decision to click on that trial. And then we want to use that information back with your team, you know, to very quickly make updates. And the homepage is a good example. We've, we've iterated on that a number of times and we just see that's going to be constant as we learn more and more about why users are coming to our site and selecting our, our, our trial or not selecting our trial. Um, we want to do updates. Yeah. Which I feel like uh, one of our points is going to, you're going to be able to do real time marketing with Webflow. Kind of if something's happening right now in a week, you're going to be able to see it and kind of see how people interact with it. Whereas with all of the other platforms, I guess you have to go to prioritization, sprints and whatever, just kind of lose a lot of that real-time marketing features with the website itself. Yeah. And I, I think we've, what I'm really happy with in working with Webflow and, and your company in particular is that the way we've designed the pages makes it really easy for our marketing team to go in and make the textual updates that they need to make on the fly. So many of the updates, we don't have to even worry about the development side. We're just changing the text on the fly and refining that. But then when we do find updates that we need to make to particular sections on a page, we take a page and in our mind, we break them into sections uh, that's there. Um, it, it's very easy. And in most cases, your team turns that around the next business day when we need to make a change. So that part, we're just super happy with just the speed at which we can iterate. Yeah, and kind of, I guess in the end, it's also quality because it's just not just kind of the, the website is really complex and the design is kind of up to the standards of all of the other platforms like kind of, um, Asana and whatever. Like I, I would say even better than them kind of design wise. And we're able to make those changes pretty quickly without compromising quality in the end also. Absolutely. I, I'll give kudos to Webflow and, and to Flow Ninja at this point. Uh, we've been talking to quite a number of partners that have been looking at our product that know most of the other players that are in the market really well. And some of them don't know that we just launched in January. And when they look at our website compared to some of the other players, they feel like we're even bigger or better than they are, not realizing we've just been in the market for three months. Uh, that's there. So the website's doing a great job of, of 
uh, you know, it, we're as good as or better than our competitors' websites that have spent, you know, in some cases, millions of dollars on the website. And we've spent just a fraction of that uh, to be able to build out what we have today. Yeah, yeah, which is kind of the future of kind of website development. It's more about kind of knowing how to create a great product and what kind of with your background, uh, with kind of the previous products you've built, kind of you're able to do just so without actually having the barrier uh, of launching, kind of, which is actually our mission in kind of helping businesses launch ideas much faster with Webflow and kind of no-code solutions. So coming back to the CMS, kind of like you, you said that your team is using the CMS a lot. So kind of do, do you feel like your marketing team is using that uh, on a day-to-day -day basis? And kind of what do you feel about the features for solutions and kind of feature pages we've created where it's technically a templated page, but you still have flexibility in the end? Yeah, we, we wanted to, um, as we thought about our marketing strategy, there was two important points to that strategy. One was we wanted the ability to really communicate in detail the features, the core features of our product. And there's about 30 of them. And so we developed a template for each of those pages, but each page has its own images and its own content. So uh, doing that allowed us to very quickly go in and make edits to those features as new things happen, updates, we update images quite often that's there. Again, without any need from uh, the development side, the marketing team is able to, to do all of that. And in fact, on the marketing side, we're, we're able to use some some of our more junior resources to do those updates, which is even better for us, right? You don't have to be super technical. It's easy to understand. And then we did the same thing on the solution pages that we have. A solution page to us is just something like sales or marketing or, or customer success, product development, where we're, it's like a landing page where we're telling you everything that we could help you with in regards to that particular solution or category that's there. Um, so basically we have 30 some landing pages for different solutions. Those are updated, uh, if not daily, every other day. Uh, we've got somebody in working almost full-time in the CMS as we're just learning from customers on buying habits, things they like. Those particular pages get updated a lot. And I, 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 the marketing team couldn't be happier with the ability to go in and that they can actually change the content and they don't have to send a note to somebody and ask them to change it and it gets done tomorrow. They just go in, they look at it, they have their meetings, talk with customers. If they don't like it, they change it again. So it's very iterative on, on that side. Yeah, so I feel like on that front, kind of after a long time, the marketing team is now challenged just because previously they probably had a, a lot of ideas and they were constrained by the dev team. Whereas right now they have kind of everything open and like it's up to them to make or kind of make or break kind of a great marketing campaign in the end, I guess. It, it is, yeah. It allows our, our website to just be very fluid in that if, if we have certain types of campaigns that we're executing, we'll update the language on the page for that two or three days to kind of match that campaign in certain areas. So it's very fluid uh, that's there. And we don't view a website as something that you create and that you update, you know, every quarter. It's yeah. for us, it's something that we look at updating every week as we have ideas, we try them. If they don't work, we move them back. Like it's just lots of, of iterations. Yeah. And that's going to put you kind of, I, I feel like a lot further in front of your competition, just because many of them have kind of custom coded solutions or whatever, where they cannot move as fast as you can. And that's probably going to be why Webflow is going to allow you to kind of have a much better business and kind of uh, launch ideas much faster in the end. Yeah, absolutely. We're, I, I failed to mention at the beginning, but we're, we're what's called a, a product led um, company, meaning uh, we want users to come to our website. We want to educate you as quickly as we can and have you click on sign up for a free trial. And then we want to give you 14 days to evaluate our product. Um, if, if you need more time, we'll extend that a couple of times, but before you ever purchase the product, we want you to be comfortable with the product. And we use the website in two ways. The first is to educate you enough to click on the start the trial. And the second part is we want to give you uh, lots of good examples on different ways that you could use our product. So people continue to come back to the website even after they've signed up and become a customer just to see a particular feature, a particular solution or how something is done. So we use it from an education standpoint uh, as well. And then over time, we're adding lots of webinars, uh, you know, on-demand webinars. Uh, and then reported webinars and then lots of videos back. So we, we, we see the site, you know, from the product led uh, portion to get people to come in, but also from the education perspective that we want them to continue to come back and see what's new in the product. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So based on that, kind of, what do you say is the mo the feature you like the most on the website, kind of, maybe that that you use, not maybe the marketing team, but something you like the most. Well, I, I think for me, the the number one uh, requirement that I had for the team was that it, it needed to be very visual, with a lot of animation, a lot of a lot of images, and I wanted it to feel different than websites that I had seen before. And the problem that they had was. Is it going to be fast? Or, or, or is doing all this going to make it so slow that it takes away from the user experience? So probably the best feature that I'm happy with is just the performance in general is very good with all the animations, all the images, all the content. We're we're a very heavy website. We have there's there's stuff going on on every page that's really unique, but it still seems to be very fast. Yeah, yeah, which is also kind of coming down to the Webflow core, kind of with a global CDN, with the image optimizations we can do, and just kind of the breakdown of that we actually go on Google uh, Google metrics and optimize everything because Webflow is technically as a custom coded solution, but on Webflow, and we can optimize everything a normal kind of custom development website would be able to optimize and end up with a kind of really performant website in the end. Yeah, yeah, and then I'll say that the second part is that it's just it's very cost effective. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a reasonable price. Uh, we have Webflow host for us, which is very reasonable, which has its own benefits uh, that you that you've shared with us in the past. But it just uh, they make working with them very easy. You know, kind of everything's just nice and bubbled up, easy to use. Yeah, I mean, kind of previously you would have to worry about security, plugin updates, and kind of anything like specifically looking at WordPress. Whereas with Webflow, you know that everything we launched is kind of supported by Webflow and it's going to have like 99% uptime in the end. So it's also a great benefit specifically for bigger websites kind of moving further. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, kind of, we were talking about kind of your clients and partners and everybody kind of in terms of their feedback. So what, what are they saying kind of when they see the website? Kind of, are they amazed kind of what we've done in kind of a short period of time? Kind of what's the feedback from their side? Yeah, I, I think that the, the, the first one is people feel like we've created our own brand through our website and meaning that it's very visual, the animations, the colors, all the movement that we have in sections, it just feels fresh and new. And that's what our company is meant to be. We're, we're a new technology and work management. We wanted our website to, to be a reflection of that as well. So we get a lot of really good feedback on the website just looks amazing. And that's one of the reasons that people click on the trial is because they're just so impressed with the technology on the website. And the website is a product in its own, the way we look at it. Uh, you know, we have our core product, but we have another product that's just the, you know, the, the visualization of what you can do in our product through the website. So, yeah. Uh, and we, uh, you know, we have the chance to work with startups, SMBs and enterprise accounts, you know, some of the largest companies in the world. And, uh, it also does a good mix with those companies of, of each one of them kind of has a feeling that it, it communicates directly to them uh, in their space uh, by, you know, using all the animation. Yeah, and I feel like kind of one of the features we were able to create also showcase how the pl platform actually works like kind of in those iframes that we've created. So people can actually see kind of what, how the platform working in the end, even without creating a free trial in the end. Yeah, yeah. What, what we were able to do there or you were able to, to implement for us is uh, you can take any of our core solutions and you can just click and it just pops up in a frame and you can see it and demo it live. You don't have to log in, do anything. You can just play with it and see it live. But we're one of the few companies that I've seen that, that allows that level of sophistication through their website. Yeah, I mean, as we're using Smart Suite, uh, kind of in our agency, Flow Ninja, kind of, what would you say for other agencies? Because probably there's gonna be a lot of Webflow agencies looking at the at this video. Kind of, why would they kind of transition to a Smart Suite, and what are gonna be the biggest benefits for them? Sure. Yeah, you know, there's there's a lot of products that are in the market right now that are in the project management space that do a pretty good job. You know, you could look at the ClickUps and the Mondays and the Rikes and Asanas and such, and they're really good uh, project management tools. Where Smart Suite excels is we provide all those same capabilities on the project management side, but we also provide process management, which is kind of like the next level up from a project. So you can combine how you want to do things inside of your agency and manage things. And you can manage tasks and things that you've done before, but you can set it up in ways to manage not just maybe the core process of getting work done for your company, but you can manage the onboarding process for your employees. Uh, you can, I think in your case, 
bureaus, you do a lot of your strategy as a CEO inside yeah. of the product, document your thoughts, your visions that, you know, a lot of companies use us for OKRs, you know, your key objectives and just the goals and initiatives inside of the company. And all of those things can be, you know, fully integrated together um, where you share information between these different processes uh, as well. So for an agency, um, it's easy for you to manage the work for your team across your set of customers. And a typical agency has somewhere between 50 and 75 customers, whether they're retainers or, or pay as you go type customers that are there. And uh, we can help you manage kind of both sides of that uh, as well. Yeah. I mean, I would say smart suite is technically as Webflow is in the no code space, just because on our side, we were able to create custom solutions and week by week, we're just kind of adding new features here and there. Like for example, today we added the kind of time tracking to one of our solutions and it was just a few clicks away and it was really kind of unique in a way like that I haven't seen in any other uh, platforms in how it's structured into the core uh, kind of solution itself. Yeah, your, your comparison to Webflow is, 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 is spot on, right? Webflow is a no-code platform that really helped you build and manage websites. Uh, Smart Suite is a no-code platform to help you manage any process or project in your organization. And you can start small and over time you continue to add more and more things. You know, you don't have to build the full version on day one, but what happens over the uh, course of time is that you find that you, you find other elements that you can use like human resources and onboarding and, you know, product development, and you begin to link all of those together. Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of exactly what I think we're going to be finishing this podcast with. So if anybody's interested in kind of starting a free trial of Smart Suite, uh, we're going to leave a link down below to kind of sign up for a free trial and kind of maybe I can give you a demo or kind of somebody from John's team is going to be, be able to give you a demo to onboard your agency, kind of to onboard your freelancing business and to start using Smart Suite as another no code tool apart from Webflow in the end. Excellent. Yes. I, I would say that if you, um, if you come to smartsuite.com, uh, Please try a free trial, uh, no credit card required. And uh, if you need need help, please feel to link in with me as well at John Darbyshire, J-O-N-D-A-R-B-Y-S-H-I-R-E. Nice. See you in the next podcast. Bye-bye.